It's vital to customize metrics unique to your website and business objectives. As we saw in the first videos, Intelligence provides a lot of pre-configured events, but it also provides a lot of tools to add and customize even more tracking. For example, one of the objectives of our demo website is to convert visitors early in the buying cycle using an educational ebook offer. And so when we go to our blog posts, we can see at the bottom of each blog post that we have a call to action that goes to a landing page. And if someone submits this form, they go to a thank you page where they can download the ebook. We want to make sure that we track these form submissions as an important conversion goal. The way this is typically done is we can set up a Google Analytics goal to track when people hit our destination page. You can do that by going into an admin. We'll look at the view and go into the goals. And we see here are two goals that Intelligence actually set up, but we're going to go ahead and create a new one specifically to track that page. I'm going to go ahead and go to Custom. I'm going to call this Educational Destination. I'm going to make this a destination goal. And I'm going to track all of our download pages start with intelligence demo slash download. Set up a value. And I'm going to make this 101. Save. And we've now set up a new goal. Intelligence enables you to manage enhanced event-driven goals directly in WordPress. To do that, we can go to Settings and go to Goals, and we see here are our goals. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the data. It's going to pull in the manual goal that we created in Google Analytics, and now I'm going to create a new one to trigger when, event, when forms are submitted. I'm going to call this an educational registration. I'll skip the description for now, and I'm going to put in 100 for our value. I'm going to add the goal. And what that did was is that went and created a goal that we can control with events over in Google Analytics. By creating our goal in WordPress, it now makes it easy to add to components in WordPress like forms. So for example, if I go to one of the supported form builders, I can now go to any of my forms and I get the, through the Intelligence tab, I can trigger what, using this dropdown, I can trigger what goals I want and now that educational registration goal is available for me to select when this form gets submitted. To configure this goal in the forms that we're using in our demo, I need to go to the demo settings. Then configure that form down here, set it to educational. If I wanted to, I can override the tracking value, but I'll leave it at the default of 100. Save those settings. Now let's see what happens when we actually submit this form. Put an email address, submit. And if I go back to our real-time reports, We'll see that indeed we got both our educational registration that we set up inside of Intelligence, inside of WordPress, and our educational destination that we did manually both came through. But one of the things that's kind of interesting, and this creates a lot of false positives, is now let's look at what happens if someone forwards this, uh, say forwards this page to somebody else. So I'll open up a new visitor in a browser, and now someone just goes directly to this download page, and what we'll see is a second person triggered this destination goal, but they actually didn't submit the form. And so you can create these false pauses by doing this, particularly when people just tend to leave these pages open and, a brow and, and uh, an hour later or a few days later, if they come back to that page, particularly in mobile browsers, and the page refreshes, you're going to get a false destination goal. So one of the things we want to do is make sure that we're measuring things accurately only when the form is being submitted. An even trickier situation is when you have a form that doesn't even go to another page. It just submits information back. So for example, if I submit this form, it doesn't actually go to another response page. It just sends a message back. There's actually no way to track this in Google Analytics without doing some custom JavaScript work. But Intelligence handles that for you automatically, and we can see that our contact goal is actually being triggered. And a big part of the magic of this is that we're actually using events to trigger these goals, which also allows us to attach additional information, such as what form was submitted, 
and how it was configured so that we can do things like advanced A-B testing based on something like the number of fields or which fields were in a form. We can also timestamp these events so that we can recreate the steps that someone took through a website. When determining what goals to set up for your website, forms are a good place to start. Results-oriented websites often have many different types of conversion forms. Intelligence enables you to easily track all these forms without having to worry about form redirects or even having to set up a new goal for each one. You can group forms into conversion categories. For example, you can map all your research stage premium offers such as ebooks and white papers to an educational registration goal. Beyond forms, of course, there are many other types of interactions that we want to track as goals. We'll look at how to do that in future videos.